Jesus! So one big goal I would like to knock out on this episode is 82 Herblore. Now the reason why I want to get 82 Herblore is so that I can boost so I can make an Anti-Venom. Now as of right now I am currently 79 Herblore which means I need 3 levels to go. Now the reason why I want to make this Anti-Venom is because it is a requirement to make the highest level ornament pool in your house. So once I can make Anti-Venoms I can make the highest level ornament pool in my house and it will restore my health, my prayer, my run energy, my spec attack. Basically, it'll be exactly what the Desert Ami 4 or the White Portal in Clan Wars does. It'll do exactly what that does, but it'll be in my house. So it is very, very useful. So I think what I'm going to do is in the, at the moment in my bank, I have about a thousand ranging potions and a thousand magic potions banked. So I'm going to use my Dwarf Weeds and my Lantadimes. And, uh, we'll see what, uh, what Herblore level. And there we go, there is level 80 Herblore, that is a very nice milestone. You can't really make any cool potions, but level 80 is a nice looking number. You know, I I'm honestly thinking I might get all the way to level 82 based on what I currently have. Because I just got level 80, right? And I'm just starting. Like, I still have over 800 ranging potions to make, and like 1200 magic potions, so... Maybe my calculations were wrong. Maybe I will get 82 off of these. Alrighty, there is all of the magic and range potions done. Came out with 1,200 magic potions and 900 range potions. Now, unfortunately, I did not get up to 82 Herblore. I got to about 81 and a half. I still have 87k left to go until the level, which isn't a whole lot of XP. So I'll take a look at the bank and see what I can do to try to get that level. And... I don't know why, but I forgot to record me getting level 81. Level 81 Herblore is actually a massive milestone because I can now make Ceridoman Brews without boosting, so that's absolutely awesome. So, uh, okay, like I said though, 87k left to go until 82 Herblore. There's a few options. One, I can make Brews, but the problem with that is I don't have Toad Flax. Usually people have a problem with the nests. I'm the exact opposite. I have a shit ton of crushed nests, but a lack of toad flax, so I guess what I can do to counteract that is just farm toad flax. And the other thing I can do, I have lots of aventos. Uh, now you can use grimy aventos and mortmire fungus, mortmire fungi, fungi, whatever, I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, you can use that to make super energy potions, and it's always good to have those anyway, so I'm, think <clears throat> I'm thinking maybe go get some fungus and make super energies. Regardless, I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to take a bit of a break from Herblore. Uh, as you guys saw last episode, I started doing some Ceridome and Gob Wars because I'm trying to get the God Sword shards that I need to make my ZGS. So let's take a break from some Herblore and do some Sarah. Oh my god! Oh! What the fuck? No, I did not! No, I fucking did not! Oh! No, I fucking didn't! Oh my god! You, oh my god, my, you, all the hate in the YouTube comments is gonna be so real, people are gonna be so, no, no fucking way, wow, <clears throat> I am very out of breath, there is the Ceridoman hilt on kill count 101, that is my third hilt. I have three out of four hilts, and I can't make a single one. Oh my god. No fucking way did I just get that. Sarah Doman hilt on Zillana Kill Count 101. Sarah hilt, Bandos hilt, Zami hilt. And I don't have enough shards to make a single one of these into a god sword. Oh my, I can't believe this. Somebody in my stream today said, Mail, I guarantee you get a Sarah Hill before you can even make it into a God Sword. Oh, well, I guess the game plan now is just to keep on grinding out shards so I can make my ZGS to do the clue scroll and then I can detach the blade and boom, we got an SGS. Good to go.
I, I'm in shock. I cannot believe this. So, before I head back to God Wars and try to get these shards, a few episodes ago I asked you guys to make a prediction on what episode I was going to get a 500 mil bank at. Well, if any of you guys said episode 48, you would be correct because... <clears throat> well, that's awkward. Uh... I don't know why it's not going up, but obviously it... Well, I'm just gonna not use that clip in the... A magic seed. Okay. I'm actually not upset about this because I feel like this is going to bring me luck. Last episode I got a magic seed and the kill right after that, I got a Sarah sword. So, you know what? I'm gonna take this as a lucky sign. Okay. Uh, I get it. I can't complain because I, I got the hilt drop. I get it. I understand. But if you don't know, a rune sword is like a 1 out of 400 drop. So... Uh, but it's okay. It's alright. I got a hilt. It's fine. It's cool. It's alright. It's I'm not upset. It's fine. Another one? Oh my god. Well, I guess that's cool. Oh. And that's actually the drop rate, I think. I think Sarah Swords are 1 out of 128. So, that's kind of cool to get one on the kill count, if you will. So, in 128 Zillianic kills, that is 3 Sarah Swords and 1 Sarah Doman hilt. Like I said, I, I got the hilt. I, I guess I can't complain about this. I I don't honestly know how rare a God Sword Shard is from the boss, but probably a little... I actually think it's more rare than this, to be honest, but... Yes! Oh, that is... Calm down, Jordan. You already screamed loud enough in this video for the Sarah Hilt. The God Sword Shard 2 coming in on the minion kill right after the magic seed. Oh, that is so relieving. That is so fucking beautiful. Okay, so there is the God Sword Shard, the God Sword Shard Two. Now all we need is the God Sword Shard One. Oh, that is so relieving. Oh, thank God. Well, there's two out of three shards. Got an elite clue scroll drop coming in on Zillionic kill count one thirty three. Man, this boss just really likes me, doesn't she? This boss. It must be my cute hill giant looks, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that was awkward. Alright, thank you for the Elite Clues goal. When this trip is over, I will go do that. So if you guys recall earlier in the episode, before all this Sarah Doman rare drop business, I was working on Herb Lore, and I got up to level 81, and I was going to finish off level 82 by doing something like Sarah Brews or Super Energies. Well, I took a look through my herb tab, and I found out an easier way I can do this. I have about 800 supplies for super attacks, and about 150 supplies for super strengths. I calculated that out, and that will get me 82 herb lore, and they're potions that I'm always in need of, so... I'm gonna make about 800 super attacks, and about 150 super strengths, and that should give me the level. And there it is. There is level 82 herb lore. Now, we don't want to make the super weapon poison. Fuck that. What we can do, however, is get a plus 5 boost to make a anti-venom potion. Again, if just in case you missed the beginning of the video, I want to get the anti-venom potion so I can make the highest level ornament pool in my house. Um, I don't know if it's listed on here. I don't think it is. I forget exactly what requirements I need, but I think I need a couple of construction levels as well. Okay, so I'm in my house. I just realized I have been calling them ornament pools the entire episode when it's rejuvenation pools, so I am really sorry about that, but the requirements is 90 construction. Now, as you can see, I'm level 80 construction right now, and you can get a plus 8 construction boost, so I need to get two construction levels to get to 82, and then we can make this. Alright, so I had quite a few mahogany logs just sitting in my bank, and I honestly don't know what they're from. Like, I have no idea why I had so many mahogany logs, but I turned them into planks. Now, 3,000 mahogany planks should be enough to get me to level 82. I'm gonna be making mahogany dining tables, which is insanely fast XP, so this shouldn't take long at all. Alright, there we go. There is level 82 construction. I was not exaggerating when I said these mahogany tables were fast. I was getting something to the effect of 600k XP per hour, and you guys know me, I'm not very good at clicking, so I can't even imagine, like, if you're efficient, how much XP per hour these things are, but 
There is level 82. What I can do now is get a plus 8 boost to boost all the way up to level 90. Um, however, before I can do that, though, I do need to... As you can see, when you upgrade, you need 10 anti-venoms. So what I need to do right now is go get a plus 5 boost for Herblore so I can make the anti-venoms. Then I gotta get the boost for construction. Alright, there we go. There is the 10 anti-venoms I needed. I actually got super lucky. On my second spicy stew, I got the plus 5 herblor boost. By the way, one of my kittens is playing with a ball. I'm sorry if you can hear it. It's loud as fuck. But anyways, there's the 10 anti-venoms. Now I need to get that plus 8 construction boost and you'll be- And again, just like my herblor boost, I got really, really lucky. It took me like 2 stews to get the plus 5 construction boost. So I'm boosted up to level 87, and then the Crystal Saw gives an invisible plus 3. With that, I should be able to upgrade this to the Ornate Rejuvenation Pool, and BAM! There we go! That is seriously so exciting. So if you don't know, I think I mentioned earlier in the video, but just one more time. This pool right here restores everything. Health, stats, special attack, run. It literally means I never need to go to the Clan Wars portal ever again, so... This was a huge goal to knock out on any account, and today we finally did it. That is really, really exciting. One more thing I would like to do to my house on this episode is upgrade my treasure box. Now, I would assume there would be a way to just upgrade this, but I guess there isn't, so... I think what I need to do is just remove this? I I've taken everything out, so... I don't know. I'm, a I'm assuming it that's what you have to do, is just take shit out and then remove it, but... Let's go ahead and make the mahogany treasure chest now that I have... High construction, um, this should allow me to seriously reduce the amount of clue items in my bank. So actually, let me go to my bank right now and see how full it is. So even with all of this stuff in my inventory, my bank is currently at 798 out of 800. Hopefully this will help a lot. Well, I managed to get it down to 765, which isn't great, but it was better than it was. The reason why I can't bank so much of this shit is because you need to have the entire set to put it in the box. So stuff like, I don't know, say the Zamorak armor set. I'm missing the kite shield only. Because I don't have the kite shield, I can't put it in my house. Like, why can't you put individual pieces in? I, I mean, come on, Jagex. That's, if I could ask for one thing, please. Archie, I know you hear this. How about a little suck? Sound good? Make it happen. Ooh, hello. We just got an elite- I kinda squeaked there, I hope you all make fun of me. We got an elite clue scroll drop coming in from General Grador Kill 277 I appreciate it, I'd rather have a god sword shard, but I'll take it. Alright, time for my reward. Wow! That is officially the worst elite I have ever seen. Holy- my elite rewards are so bad. I don't mean to complain, but like, what the fuck? A Guthix Kite Shield. My clue scrolls have been quite shitty lately, but I actually don't think I have a Guthix Kite. So that might be the completion of the Guthix set. Let's go ahead and take a look. Guthix is one of my favorite sets for Fashionscape. I just think it looks nice. And it actually... Okay, it's a new piece, but I'm still missing the full helm. Damn it, I thought that was the completion of the set. Oh well. Okay, I think I'm gonna take the risk. Both of them have Ancient Staffs. I feel like that means that neither of them have TB. If neither of them have TB, I can get away super easily. So, I don't know. That, okay, this guy actually might steal the kill from me if I don't KO it quickly. Oh, and they did. Y'all can suck a dick. Here's how I'm gonna play this out. If I run to the... Uh, east, I go into singles, so... Venonatus, I'm gonna you one more time, and... RUN! Fucking book it, boys! RUN AWAY! No way did I get gap. No way did I get gap. You are the worst PKers! I mean, come on! Who the fuck? Somebody came in the go in the God Wars room and I'm so Man, you guys really like go out of your way to troll. Like I I am impressed, honestly. I am impressed. Whoa, okay. I've been having some boring clues lately, but uh we got two new items here. Enchanted hat and nunchucks. What do these nunchucks look like when you wield them? Ooh, that's kinda cool. Wow, okay. I think the enchanted hat is a new one, and of course these nunchucks are new. 
Got some new fashion scape items. Just got level 76 agility. Right now I am collecting marks of grace for stamina potions. I am obviously still on the hunt for that god sword shard one, so... Use lots of stamina potions at Serra, so I'm kind of continually finding myself at this course. But I just got level 76 agility, which means I can now use the Zolra shortcut without using an agility potion. So that's actually pretty awesome, I guess. I haven't shown you a Zolra clip in a while, but previously, I had to use an agility potion to get over the fairy ring shortcut, and now I don't need that anymore. So another thing I want to get done on this episode is the completion of the Karamja Medium and Easy Diaries. Now I haven't worked on Achievement Diaries in a long ass time and I've really been putting this off. Okay, so if you don't know, to complete the Karamja Medium Diaries you need to exchange gems for a machete. Now in order to do that, you need to get a Gout Tuber. A Gout Tuber is insanely annoying to get. Basically, you need to hack these jungles, and it has like a 1% chance of spawning when you're done. So, I've been grinding it for a few hours, and I've done this in previous episodes, I just haven't had any luck. So, I'm gonna revisit this, and hopefully we can get the Gout Tuber and get these diaries done. Okay, so I got the Gout Tuber, but I didn't actually get to record me getting it. So... As you guys probably know, I'm in college right now, and in between my classes, I usually play a little bit of RuneScape because I'm a nerd, okay? And of course, I get the Gout Tuber while I'm playing on my laptop and can't record, but uh, there we go. There is the Gout Tuber. I actually didn't take that long. It probably only took me like an hour of grinding it on my laptop to get it, so. Uh, there's the Gout Tuber. We can now complete the Karamja Medium Diaries. I don't know what else I need, but I'll be right back. Okay, hopefully you can't fuck this up or something. I will be so mad. Okay, thank you for the trading sticks. Alright, I don't even know what to do. You can eat this, so I need to be very careful. Uh, I, I don't know what to do. Can you please just make the thing for me? I think this is the dude I talked to. What do you do here? Uh, yes, I would like to get a machete. Okay, Buana, here's the deal. What do I have? Jades. I got jade. This had better work, I swear to God. Please. Oh god, please! Yeah, I did it. Okay, cool. There is the Karamja Medium Diaries done. Let me go get my reward, and then I should be able to go ahead and do the hards as well. I am the biggest fucking idiot. When it said collect five palm leaves, for whatever reason, my brain said that I needed to plant a palm tree seed. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. And there we go! With that, we have now completed all of the challenges in the Hard Karamja Diaries. I'm gonna go claim my gloves. I have a question about my Achievement Diary. I've done all the hard tasks in the Karamja Achievement Diary. Well, that wasn't a question at all, but... I mean, okay. <laughs> you say you have a question, and then just like, hey! And then you like, tell them something. Anyways, uh... Please, sir, go ahead and upgrade those gloves for me. Now... These are really, really nice, because occasionally I do get tasks from Duradel. And if you don't know, the Karamja Gloves 3 give you a very, very convenient teleport. Everybody clap your hands! Come on! Up the ladder, and here we go. So, no more teleporting to our dune and taking the boat to Brimhaven and then taking the cart. I can just go directly here with the teleport. Just got level 93 range. I'm gonna be honest, I think I've gotten an entire range level from doing Sarah solos. I think last episode I was killing... I don't, I don't remember what I was doing, but I'm pretty sure I got 92 range last episode while killing something. And now I'm level 93, and the only thing I've used range for is Sarah, so... That's how dry I am for this shard one right now. This trip is fucking falling apart! Are you serious? First my Serpentine Helm runs out of charges, then my Crystal Shield runs out of charges. Are you kidding me? This is a freaking mess. I forgot to record, but there is 200 Zillana kill count. Uh, I will eventually have to upload this video regardless of whether or not I get the God Sword Shard too, so... Uh, who knows how many more kills I will do before I wrap this episode, but there is 200 Zillana kill count. No! I'M SO- <sighs> I am s I said earlier today that if I got one of these, it would be grounds for rage quitting the stream. I'm at- I'm- I'm thinking about it. Oh, 
why me? What? That is my fifth god sword. Ugh. Fuck. <laughs> I'm trying to be mad right now, but it is actually pretty fucking funny. That is my fifth god sword shard three. Are you? What seventh depth of hell am I in? Right, I have one dose of stamina, so... A Sarah Doman's light! Oh, something new! Okay, that's actually pretty cool. Uh, that is one drop that isn't... It's not particularly useful. Um, I mean, it is, it is cool. Basically, if you don't know, a Sarah Doman's light makes it so that the Zamorak God Wars area is not dark. So... It doesn't benefit you, but it's just kind of a convenience thing, and well, I guess that's one more unique to drop off or uh, to check out the drop table. So, so I think all I do is just consume it, right? As you commune with the holy star, you feel the light of Sarah Doman. Okay, she's gonna spawn. Hurry up! Yes, let the light in. Oh my God! It flashbanged me. Jesus. Okay, anyways, that's pretty cool. All right, guys. Well, that is going to be it for today's episode. I hope you all did enjoy. Unfortunately, we didn't manage to get the God Sword Shard 1 to end the episode. I'm afraid this is going to turn into a really long grind before I can end up getting it. Also, keep in mind throughout the video, if I ever complained about getting drops, please don't be too mad at me. I know I got a Sarah Hilton and all that shit. You just gotta understand, when you're one short from finishing it, it gets so frustrating to just not be able to get the one thing you need. You know what I'm saying? But I hope you guys all did enjoy the video. Let's go ahead and take a look at the total level. Current total level is 1923, so getting closer and closer to 2000. Uh, some notable gains on this episode, of course, we got 82 construction, 82 herb lore made some huge improvements to our house, which is going to be insanely useful in the future. We also got an entire range level off of Sarah Doman, which is crazy, so uh, in terms of future skills, I suppose after Sarah's over, I'll probably grind out 99 attack and 93 slayer, but that's in the future. Let's go ahead and take a look at the current bank value. According to OS Buddy, we have 479 mil, although I have no idea how that is accurate. Because it was at like 460 something, and then I put a Sarah Hilt in, and it didn't go up. So I, I seriously have no idea what my bank value actually should be, but... Anyways guys, if you enjoyed today's video... Feel free to hit that like button down below. You guys have been killing it with the likes lately. And it really does show me that you guys are enjoying these videos. I appreciate you all tuning in. And I will see you all later.